Images like this have people concerned about the well-being of horses at a Union County farm. Tonight, the owner tells 10TV she did nothing wrong. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Karina Nova. Chuck is off tonight. The Union County Humane Society has launched an investigation and is now caring for the six horses that were living on Tender Touch Farm near Marysville. But the owner says the horses were worse off when she first got them. 10TV's Danielle Elias has just returned from Marysville with more. Danielle. Karina, the owner invited us to her farm today. She says she has nothing to hide. She also says she keeps the horses as part of a program to offer low cost lessons to families who can't afford them. But people nearby her farm say they got suspicious when they started seeing several of those horses become frail. Hi, Lily. Hi, baby girl. Lisa Gillum says she loves animals and says she does what she can to tend to the nine horses and two ponies that are now on her farm. Yeah, they take a lot of work, but that's what I do. That's my job all day long is taking care of them and doing the lessons and um, making sure the horses are taken care of. But the Union County Humane Society says she did not take care of all of them well enough. More than five miles from her home, humane agents say they found the malnourished animals here with hardly any food around. Director Stephen Baldwin shared this picture of one of the horses he recovered. He says in total they removed six horses from this farm that were nearly starved to death. The condition that they were in, I, I could not in good conscience leave them there. They were skin and bones. Gillum claims she took in the thinner horses from a rescue and that it takes time to get them healthy. We were slowly getting them used to grain and getting them used to being fed correctly, and it takes time. I mean, we only had them for a few months. If the horse is going from starved to well-fed, um, typically within three weeks to a month, you will begin to see uh, a noticeable improvement. So for her to say in three months she couldn't get them up to weight, is that believable? It raises questions. And while Gillum says she did nothing wrong, angry neighbors want her operation shut down. If she can't take care of the horses and she can't provide for them, then she needs to give them to someone who can. The director of the Humane Society says two of the recovered horses were doing so badly they had to be euthanized. He tells us he's finishing up his investigation this weekend and should be presenting the case to the law director on Monday. We will let you know what happens. Reporting live, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.